Hi, it's me, Adrian, on my nighttime show. Woo! Okay, anyways, I'm here about the Morgan County Herald. I'm going to read it to you um, and then tell you what's wrong in it. And then I'm going to read you a letter from the Morgan High School. Woo! To my parents. Woo! Okay, so, anyways, let's begin. Nobody told me what happened. Bomb threats consume instruction time. The instructional time of our students at Morgan High School has been interrupted five times since the first of this year when bomb threats have been called into our school or notes or messages have been left in the boys' restroom at the high school. Students were evacuated the first four times to the junior high school for safety. However, the students remained in the building following Monday morning's alert, and the building was swept, according to Superintendent Lori Lowe. Ooh. She said a notebook was found in the boys' restroom with the word bomb printed in the book. As in the procedure, Morgan County Sheriff Jenkins and the m and Fire Department responded to each of the alerts. It was a waste of instructional time for our students. It is just such a waste. We are working closely with the Morgan County Sheriff's Office to find out who is doing it. Super... Intendant Lowe stated, A bomb scare took place at the high school last October with two devices that appeared to be explosive in nature. One in the boys' restroom at the north end of the building and another in the boys' restroom at the south end of the building. One of the devices had gone off and caused damage to the restroom, spreading chemicals and ca causing obnoxious fumes. Two Morgan High School male students aged 15 and 16 were arrested and appeared in Morgan County Juvenile Court for that scare. If found guilty of committing such an act, students will be committed to the Department of Youth Service until they are 21 years of age. However, nothing was found Monday morning and no one has been arrested at the time. However, Sheriff Jenkins talked to a few students and Superintendent Lowe said a letter went home with high school students and junior high students Monday evening. Okay. So, there's not much wrong in there, but there is a little bit. Like, the fact that they say that we were evacuated all except for Monday, that's a lie. We were not evacuated Friday. I know. I was there. I wasn't there Monday. So I'll take their thing saying we were evacuated. Or we weren't evacuated Monday. Of course, I'll take their thing there. But we were not evacuated Friday. Because Friday, I was in class. And that's when I had to pee. And they wouldn't let me go to the restroom. So... The most they did, actually, was remove us from our classrooms and put us in the cafeteria while they search our classroom and then send us back. So, no. The gym. The gym. They put us in the gym. So, now that I'm recollecting it, I wasn't allowed to go to the restroom, not even the one in the gym, but the point is, is they did not evacuate us if any evacuation take place it was just from our classrooms to the gym so yay. letter time February 8 2010 I just got this today though dear parents and guardians Morgan High School has recently experienced several incidents of, of bomb scares these incidents have involved the term bomb being written or stated in various contexts. When these incidents occur, we immediately contact the Sheriff's Office, who then responds to the school and takes control of operations. The Sheriff's Office, who works closely with the m and Fire Department and determines actions based on the information available to them from the high school staff. Student safety is paramount in all of our decisions. Yeah. We feel these incidents are a terrible waste of time for our students and our staff members. Not to mention the time and effort of our law enforcement officials and our fire department personnel. Actions of this nature are taken very seriously by our administrations and students who engage in these types of activities face the most severe consequences that we provide. They're going to hang you. Although it is impossible to prevent these incidents, it is important to know that we take each incident very seriously, like locking us in our classroom. And we'll continue to work closely with both the Sheriff's Office and the m and Fire Department to keep our students safe and secure. Respectfully, Lori Lowe, or Lori Snyder Lowe, Superintendent, and Anita S. Eldridge, Principal. Safety and secure. They're going to keep our uh, safe and secure. 
by locking us in our classrooms. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a child. I wouldn't understand how we could be safe in a locked classroom in a building that might explode. I'm how would I know anything about bombs? I, I actually don't know anything about bombs, but the point is, is I know that if you're in a building, there's supposed to be a bomb, you're supposed to leave it, obviously. I'm not a complete idiot. But, anyways, I just thought I would come here with the update, because we all just love updates, right? Um, let's see if I have anything else to say on my night time so um, hmm. that's about it I think I just wanted to update you on the wonderful bomb threats oh by the way for students who are wondering um, this Monday the let's see what Monday it is Fifteenth, we are having a makeup day at the regular schedule, and February twentieth, Saturday, we are having a two-hour release, but we will be forced to go to school because <coughs> it's our fault that it's snowing. We have to make that up. But also, I wanted to say something about this letter: the fact that it's a waste of the students and staff's time. Are you sure it's just not a waste of their paycheck? I mean, I'm pretty sure that they're just angry that they have to pay the same amount even during bomb threats. I don't think they really care about the students. I mean, that's just an opinion. Don't take my word for it. Go to school, get an education, and learn that the system will do everything they can to screw you wherever. Love yous.